Well, first off, uh, I'd like to wish the fathers a happy Father's Day today. And uh, hopefully you guys are all be with your families and I'll be having fun or going out to dinner or something, whatever, or just having a nice relaxing day, whatever. Me, no, I'm not relaxing. I'm still doing stuff, so anyhow. Uh, so, what can I say? Well, the, uh, the amplifier or the receiver that was an amplifier, I'm not going to bother with. I'm just, I just don't see it as going to be something I'm going to be able to use. Uh, the parts in it, yeah, the, the transformer and stuff like that, I can pull out for a power supply or something like that. But for right now, I don't need it. Uh, so, anyhow, so it's sitting on the bench. And I'm just going to move it. I'll move it on my shelf over there on one side of the room. Where that hole over there on the top of the shelf is, that's where it's going to go. And I've been doing some work on my truck out here. Um, pretty much spray painting the inside of the bed. Uh, just to make sure it doesn't rust. It's, uh, well, it's been a lot of times in California when it started, but it's been here in Nevada for almost 10 years now, so uh, still even a drier climate, so still there's no rust in this truck at all anywhere. Uh, although the paint job is starting to chip and flake now, um, like right here, chip there, there's another one over there, and let's see what else we got, uh, well, a few little nicks here and there, but nothing major, there's no major damage on the truck. It uh, is like it's two-tone, blue and gray. So, let's see what else is there. I think it was up here. Yeah, right here on this side. See all these chips coming off the paint. Well, that's the original paint. I mean, after all, this thing is, you know, made in 1989. So, the paint's lasted that long. But I'm going to have to do something with these. I'm going to have to feather these out. And you get some gray paint, the right color gray paint, and take care of all these. Um, so that's another thing I got to do. Plus, I still got to work on the inside of the uh, the ignition system because this started up. Oh, it starts up every time, but I got to turn the key all the way. Basically, it's now it's a a theft-proof car because uh, you turn the key on, then you got to come out, and you have to. Uh, go ahead and use your screwdriver to start it. So, anyway, so that's what's going to happen there. Well, oh, nobody's coming back again. Oh, jeez. What is your problem? It's like almost 90 degrees outside. This dog is going to jump in my lap and he, he just came in from outside. Uh, well, today I was looking at... Uh, Greg's Vintage Workshop, and he had a Motorola uh, radio he was working on, and I'll be dog on his. There's one made in 1957. I have one made in 1956. Same style, except my the front of mine is different. I bought this because I like the front of the radio. It reminded me of a truck when I got it. Unfortunately, I got this off eBay, and this thing did not work. It still does not work. Um, I was not as lucky as Greg was with his radio. His radio, he plugged it in and it worked first time. This one, nope, doesn't work. Uh, I mean, it just basically, it's been sitting on my shelf. I just thought it was kind of odd when I looked at his, and I said, Oh shoot, I got a radio that looks almost like that, except my grill's different because his was square and mine has that shape to it. So, and uh, I said, well, you know, I might, so I might try to get this one working, although I'm not sure. 
it has one volt tubes in it and a three volt tube in it. So I guess first thing I do would be to test all his tubes. Luckily he tested all his out. His all work fine. So this one here, I doubt it. Um, way my luck runs most of the time. Um, so yeah, you may be seeing more of this one in another video. Um, and that was made in 1956, so it was a year older than his. Um, and then last night I was pulled out some of the parts I got from the freebie from uh, Ham and Hi-Fi I picked up. And I just started checking out uh, numbers. Like that one says PB1180. Um, so I opened it up, took a look inside, and I said, well, doggone, that's got to be a module for something. And it turns out, all I had to do is Google the number, and I found it. It's uh, actually for a transceiver. It's a plug-in module that goes into a transceiver. So I figured, was, was it Kenwood or something like that? I think it was. I figured which one it was. Uh, it was one of those. And uh, then I remember I had a couple of these. These circuit boards, same thing, they got part numbers on them down here too, and I never noticed that before. I plugged in the number in Google, sure enough, I found out these were for another transceiver that came out of it. It was uh, some kind of a, an audio plug-in module. <laughs> so, like I said, it's surprising what you can find on, the, on Google when you just start looking for stuff. And this one here, I looked at it, well I didn't see numbers on top, so I looked at the back of the circuit board and it said C3746W and it said copyright 1977 RLD company. Well, that's RL Drake company that makes transceivers and receivers and transmitters. And uh, so this was from another uh, transceiver, an R7 or something like that, that they made 77. So, like I said, it's just something else. You can find this stuff on on Google just by going through and just finding any number on it at all, and you can normally tell what it is. But anyhow, that's all I was going to show you for today, and, uh, and wish everybody a happy Father's Day. And that's going to be it uh, for us. Right, Charles? He's down here on the floor. There. He just came in from outside looking for Mr. Squirrel. The squirrel was... <laughs> not now. The squirrel isn't now. No, it's okay. The squirrel is not there right now. Yesterday, Mr. Squirrel showed up. He did. Got a nice little collar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, go get him. Go get Mr. Squirrel! <laughs> he just goes all crazy. Oh, crazy, crazy, crazy. That's you, Mr. Crazy. Oh, sure. Go get him. Go get him. Well, go on, go get him. Yeah, so why get him out of here. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyhow, we're going to go ahead and, and work on something. I have no idea. Uh, it's just like haphazard. Everything is, you know, I've got this on my bench too, so that ARC-5. And uh, I still have a J71 radio sitting up there. Like I said, I just got so much stuff around here. It's something else. But, uh, yeah, so that's going to be it. Uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.